Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna to be talking about how to know which hens are laying eggs in your flock. Before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So you have hens laying eggs, but minimal eggs. Why is that? What's happening? It could be our environmental, nutritional, seasonal, or just a particular breed of bird. Sometimes you aren't even sure which hens are laying or not. Today, we're going to look at how you can check to see which of your hens are laying and not laying eggs. I mean, you could just sit all day and watch your hens, but we've got some quick ways to check instead. The two main ways to check which hens are laying are a physical examination and nest trapping. Let's start with physical examinations. So how to tell if pullets are laying eggs. Pullets younger than 16 weeks are not yet ready to lay. The point point of lay can vary greatly from breed to breed. The sex-linked pullet is likely to start laying around 16 weeks while Orpingtons, Marans, and several other breeds may not start laying until 20 weeks or so, some even longer. So to be sure to find out the usual point of lay for your breeds, how can you tell when a pullet is approaching her P-O-L or point of lay? It's her comb and waddles will get larger and redder. She may be restless and move from nest to nest looking for the right spot. A rooster will start showing her some attention. She will start squatting when you attempt to to touch her. Your hen will seek out dark, quiet areas. She will be active with bright, alert eyes. Your hen doesn't understand what's happening, so she may be extra talkative and distracted right before she lays. Her first eggs may be in odd places, so keep a lookout for them. You can encourage her to lay in the nest box by using fake eggs or golf balls. Her initial eggs may be a bit oddly shaped, erratic, and timing, but once she gets the hang of it, she will be a good layer for you. She will not be up to full speed until around 30 weeks or so. If this is your first first batch of hens, you may need to confine them to the coop for a couple weeks to get them used to lie in the nest boxes. If they are additions to an existing flock, they should get the idea pretty quickly. Although if you have a dominant older hen guarding the boxes, you may need to add some more boxes in a different place for the new girls. Now let's talk about how to tell if your older hens are laying eggs. Hens older than one year should continue laying for at least another six months or a couple of years, depending on the breed. You can tell if she is still laying by a quick physical examination and observation. Let's talk about her feathers. In observing your hen, she will likely have some worn feathers, especially if there's a rooster around. Feathers on her back may be broken or rumpled. This should tell you that the calcium in her body is being diverted to egg making, not feather making. Her comb and waddle should appear red. If they are dull and shrunken, this hen is likely not laying. The physical examination should give you a little more information. Pick her up gently and tuck her through your arm facing backwards. And when I say backwards, I mean the hen facing backwards, not you. Check the vent. Now you can get a clear look at her vent. A laying hen will have a clean pink moist vent about an inch in diameter for large breeds. If the vent is small, dry, and pale, she's not laying. Next is feeling for the space between the pubic bone and the vent, then the keel in the vent. The pubic bones of a hen lie on either side of the vent at about nine o'clock and three o'clock. You should feel two pointy bones on either side at a distance of about three finger breaths apart. If the gap is smaller, she is most likely not laying. The distance between the vent and the keel bone should be around four finger breaths. The position of fingers should be 12 o'clock and six o'clock. Now let's talk about secret stash. If all signs point towards your hens laying, but you have a few eggs, make sure she doesn't have a secret stash somewhere. If they are free ranging, watch them carefully to see if any disappear for a while and then return to the flock. Without a doubt, some birds are more secretive about their eggs than others, considering it a challenge to hide them from you. More than a few keepers have thought they had lost a hen only to have them return with the chicks in tow. Now let's talk about the legs, beak, and face. When your hens start laying again after they molt, take notice of their legs, beak, and face. A hen that is laying well will start to lose some of the colorings in all these areas. Areas that were initially yellow or quite highly colored, such as legs and face, will slowly bleach out to look much paler. If your hen still looks spiffy halfway through the season, she She's not laying for you. Now, let's talk about an option, you know, to make sure that a hen is laying eggs. You can use a trap nest. Trap nesting is usually done with breeding hens, but can be used to check and see who is laying. If you have a large number of hens and limited nest boxes, you may have to spend some time checking regularly to see who is laid. The trap nest is a device that can be fitted to the front of the standard nest box fairly easily. Once the hen enters the nest, the gate shuts behind her, trapping her. The hens should not be left in the traps for excessive periods of time, especially in warm weather. If she does lay and becomes bored, she may well eat her egg. 
not something you want to happen. If the weather is particularly warm, she can dehydrate quickly as well. If left to her own devices, your hen will become bored, scared, and will most likely attempt to escape. I don't recommend trap nesting because hens can accidentally break their eggs and out of boredom begin eating them. This is a bad habit that's hard to break and unfortunately it's quite contagious. Additionally, trap nesting can scare hens so badly that they may not want to lay their eggs in the nesting boxes for fear of entrapment. So if you need to separate your hens to determine who's laying, I simply recommend relocating the hen in question for a while. At first, she may be upset due to the separation, but eventually her egg factory will start running and you know whether she's a layer or not. Now let's talk about the egg color detection and determining which hen is laying eggs. This method of determining which hen is laying eggs depends solely on the knowledge of your chickens and the breeds they represent. If you have blue egg layers, it's easy to tell who's laying. Most hens have trademarks to their eggs. It can be size, color, the color location they prefer to lay, or anything else you may have observed. If you know your hens well, you may know which eggs belong to who. Keep in mind, however, that that egg color may lighten or darken with age, so be careful in your assumptions if you go this route. One last word on egg laying, the hen factors. With egg laying, though you must remember that certain breeds lay more than others, if you have what is considered ornamental breeds, the egg output may significantly less than utility breeds. And let me answer this real quick. What are ornamentals? Breeds such as the Barbadukli, Campines, Sultans, and Seabrights are considered ornamental. Although they do lay eggs, they are now renowned for their output of eggs. It's great to have a selection of different breeds, but check carefully to see who lays well and who doesn't. On a personal note, I keep Dukleys, and although they aren't as prolific as utility hens, they do a respectable job of laying, but it took them several months to start up. Lastly, remember the laying cycle, it runs around 25 to 26 hours to make one egg. Uh, the time of lay will get later each day until she drops a day. So to summarize, you now have at least three different ways to check to see which of your hens are laying. Once you've had that figured out, which hens aren't, you can figure out why. Sometimes you need to be a detective to find out why your ladies aren't laying. You may have to go through each in every likely scenario before you discover why. If it's simply because your hen is old, there really isn't much to be done about it except buy some new pullets if your zoning allows. Many of other reasons for a decrease in laying can be put right quickly and get the girls back on track. While chickens can't verbally communicate with us, things such as not laying are a signal to you that something is wrong and bothering them and you need to fix it. So let me know in the comments below, how do you check which of your hens are laying eggs? That'll do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.